This following example shows you uh, an example of using the like operator, the power of using the like operator in VBA, along with the AND uh, operator or the AND statement. Let's first show you how to filter. Notice here we have three addresses. The first is 1945 Merrillville Road, the next one is 5002 Guilford Avenue, and the third one is 5645 Merrillville Road. These are fictitious addresses. Uh, all of them are in Indianapolis, Indiana, and notice how the first one at 1945 Merrillville Road is 46222. Once again, this is a fictitious um, zip code. I don't even know if that exists in Indianapolis. The next one, uh, at the third one, is 5645 Merrillville Road, which is farther up. And so, of course, I just wrote anything for that. Uh, I call that 466, I'm sorry, 46225 zip code. Okay, what I first want to do is I want to filter for the Merrillville Road that's at a particular zip code. The zip code must start with 462. Uh, and let's just say that I couldn't read what the fourth uh, number was, so I say, it, the, but the last number must also be a two. So I know that the first, second, and third, and the fifth number should be, the first three numbers should be 462, and the fifth and last number should be a two. I don't know what the fourth number will be. So this is how I would write the VBA code in a while when loop statement. I will first start out with uh, creating a container for my integer, which is the number that's going to be used to increase the counter. I'm going to call that uh, integer container x. I'm going to um, assign the number 1 to the container. That's to start it off. Now, the statement is going to be a while statement, and I'm using the sales object. And I'm not going to explain all this because I've already created uh, multiple ebooks explaining all of this. So you can check out one of my ebooks that'll explain while when statements, uh, the sales object, and all of that. But this one is basically to show you how the like operator works as opposed to using the find uh, formula. So after I, you know, start with my line for my while statement, I need to use an if statement. I'm saying that if within the first row of the first column, if within that address I find something that starts off with a number, that's what the pound stands for, it must start off with a number, and then I don't know what comes after that, but then you have to have Merrillville uh, come next, Merrillville come next, and then after Merrillville, I don't know what happens. Uh, and then it also has to have in the fourth column of that adjoining uh, row, it has to have a zip code that starts off 462, and as I said, the pound stands for whatever the number will be, the fourth number will be, but the fifth number must be a 2. So let's go ahead and run this code while we you would run it by going to the run and then run sub user form. Now let me zoom out of here so you can see what happens when I run it. I'm going to run it now. Mm, hold on. Let me shrink this so you'll be able to see what happens. Okay. You're going to look what happens in column E when I run the code. So here we go. We're running the code. Notice what happened it found it. The, only the first address matched my um, if statement that uses the like operator, the and, uh, ob or the and operator, uh, and the if statement. So let's go ahead and say, now remember when you use an if statement and an and uh, operator together, it means that both statements must be true in order for it to execute. If let's say it found Merrillville correctly in the first column, first row, but it did not find a zip code that matched what I wanted, the first three letters, the first three numbers should be 462, no matter what the fourth number was, but the last number should be a 2. If it didn't find that, then it would not have executed 
and uh, the E would not have found in there. What we're going to do now is we're going to go into this code, we're going to get rid of the second criteria, I'm sorry, the second criterion. So now we're only left with one criterion, and that is that it must find any address within the first column that has, that starts with a number and that has the word Miraville in it. So let's go ahead and run the code. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and I'm going to delete this so you can see what it does next. Okay, now we're going to back out so you can see I'm about to run the code. Now notice what happened. It found two that matched both row one and row two contain starts with a number and they contain the word word Miraville. But the address does not matter in here because I got rid of the and statement. If you like what you see on how the like operator works, filtering for data and information in Excel spreadsheets, you may be interested in my new book.